Well, I gotta say, folks, at like eight o'clock at night, the end of July, on a very secluded lake, this uh, experience can't get much more tranquil. This has just been an amazing night. I've only caught a couple of uh, a largemouth and a smallmouth. And I keep thinking I'm catching something here other than weeds, but man, it's been amazing. All right, so in terms of my trolling rig, I've got, uh, well, actually I'm trolling about uh, probably 50, 60 feet, maybe 70 from shore, which is pretty close. And I've got, I, I can only go on speed number one on the Minn Kota that I have. Um, uh, it's a Minn Kota Endura and it's a, it's a five speed motor. And uh, with this rig I've got on, which has like, it's like a multi spinner bait kind of thing. Um, I would like to go even less than one. So it's, it's even one is a little bit fast for this, but uh, we'll see what happens here. It's, it's, what is it? Almost seven o'clock in the evening in uh, late July. And there's a whole lot of bass and pike in this lake, both bass, largemouth and smallmouth up in Northern Ontario. And uh, we shall see how this goes. Well, something just jumped beside me. Oh, <laughs> on to something here. All right, got something on here. Not really sure what that is. Fish on, my man. Fish on. Whoa. Don't want to get that in my... All right. Here's what we have. It is a small A little smally. All right, my little man. We'll let you go. All right, so I was just casting while uh, using my uh, trolling motor just to move along the shoreline, and it's uh, around 7.30. And uh, I used a pink rubber worm, which is now kind of messed up, so I'll have to restring it. got a floating rapala on. I'm using it as a topwater bait, just twitching it little by little. A couple of strikes, a couple of splashes. You know, one of my favorite techniques when I was, uh, oh, years ago, I don't have, the, I don't know if I have the patience now, but was to fish with with a floating rapala, but I would let it sit longer than I would be pulling it in. So I would actually take about five minutes to reel it in. And I would twitch it and let it sit, twitch it, let it sit, you know, pull it in for about, you know, seven or eight cranks and then let it sit for about 20 seconds. I'm trying that now, but nothing's happening. I find that on this lake, after about 8.30 or so, oh, got another something or other. Oh, it's just <laughs> a little bass. What do we got here? Oh, it's another little, oh, is that a large one? Nope. I mean, yeah, couldn't see the side. There we 
go. Nice little, nice little large muff. Whoa, got the can. <laughs> there you go. Not very big. He's like uh, seven inches long, maybe. We'll let him grow for another day. <laughs> Something went for it. After about 8.30 or so, um, it's nice to be out here, but nothing's biting, really. All right, let's try one more of my wonderful technique here. I'm up here on Dollars Lake in Northern Ontario. And uh, wow, <laughs> it's just like a, a wilderness experience with great fishing. 